Switch back to the forecast. Fall about six hours away now. I actually wore <laughs> boots today, Kelly. I, I did like, too. It's cool enough. Yeah. I could wear boots. You know, it's it's we're breaking out the new wardrobe. The new season mm -hmm. is here. A lot of uh, folks excited about that. Well, one thing I do love about fall are all of the colors that start to pop out here on our trees. Here's our fall color forecast uh, for all those leaves out there. Right now we're seeing minimal changes. Same for next week. Uh, likely a few leaves popping colors out there in two weeks. You'll notice a little more uh, by three weeks. That's about the first two weeks in October here. We're nearing the peak and usually peak is sometime around the middle parts of October. Then November we lose all the leaves. So get excited for some of these colors. Here's an example of a tree that I spotted a couple years ago now in 2019. But this uh, photo is on my phone and just wanted to share this lovely tree that I stopped and parked to snap a photo of the ombre of colors here from reds to yellow and green. So beautiful. So we're nearly at this point in just a couple of weeks. We get to see some of this. So uh, get excited for that. It's a very nice afternoon so far. Cloudy skies outside. That's your view out to Stoller Winery. You can see a few breaks in those clouds around uh, out there in the back there. But temperatures are mostly in the upper 60s. Still a pleasant day to dine outside, maybe at a food cart or on a patio. We'll start to break out some of these uh, pockets of blue sky here by 2, 3 p.m. today with a mostly cloudy to partly sunny finish to our day with highs right around the mid 70s. Also want to share a peek out to the mountains. It is a bit breezy up there as you can see those trees shaking in the winds, but blue skies out a lovely shot there of the summit. Now temperatures are mainly in the 60s here around the uh, valley out to the air areas in the gorge here. Central Oregon, a lot more sunshine there and temperatures in the 60s and 70s as well. We're still seeing this low pressure system driving some impacts around the area. Some gusty winds in the gorge, but also a lot of precipitation in areas of eastern Washington and Oregon and Idaho. The system was anchored down in southern Oregon and northern California earlier in the week, but did shift over across the state yesterday. Now it's up towards the north and will slowly continue to work out the door. No rain for us, but we are pulling in some clouds now. A nice westerly flow here, so we're stuck under that cloud cover. We do see more sunshine going into tomorrow and a dry pattern setting up here. Really not much rain in the forecast. Notice all the clouds, really thick cloud layer here over Portland now, but no rain out there. So today for the coast, expect to see a mainly cloudy day. We'll also get a few sun breaks out there. Temperatures spanning the 60s. Uh, for most with light winds in Portland today, right around 74 degrees. We're in the mid 70s here with clouds decreasing into the afternoon for Eastern and Central Oregon back in the 70s as well, turning sunny out there already getting a lot of sunshine now and out towards Hood River and the Dalles a little breezy today with gusts up to 20 miles per hour and temperatures back in the 70s. Now that low system I just pointed out starts to shift out the door and we will change up our weather pattern back to a hotter one. So we're almost bouncing back into summertime here as temperatures climb towards the 80s this weekend. There's that big ridge of high pressure. We've seen this pattern so many times so far uh, during summertime. So we're back under this ridge here this weekend, and that means a stretch of days likely in the 80s. Not looking like we'll hit record high territory, but still warm. Uh, here's your seven day forecast, and you can see those temperatures by Sunday climbing towards the 80s. Monday, 87 degrees, likely our hottest day of the week. But notice not much rain either. There are some hints for rain maybe next Wednesday, so we've got a lot of dry time here, a little bit of heat this weekend, but still with fall festivities going on and kicking off, just an awesome weekend to get outside, maybe mm -hmm. hit a farm or go for a hike. It'll be just nice out there. I was driving my daughter to school this morning and I saw some uh, leaves on the ground. Yes, the I did too. They're kind finally of starting blown to turn. around. Yeah, we will see just more and more of that going into October. Okay, we'll be right back with more news and a final check on that uh, incoming fall forecast. Yeah, Hours hopefully away. soon. Yes. <laughs> yeah, at six tonight. <laughs>